to talk about one of my Somali Muslim students who wears a hijab. She gives the best hugs of anyone I've ever met. She's sweet and sassy and smart, and she sticks up for anyone who is being mistreated. The degree of Islamophobia, racism, and prejudice she faces on a daily basis could very easily make her hate the world, but she doesn't. She's full of love and joy and passion, and she inspires me every day. I have a Mexican-American student whose dad was deported for a crime that he did not commit when my student was eight years old. He was watching Saturday morning cartoons when ICE came and took his dad away. The impact of that moment will affect him now, and it affects him for the rest of his life. One of my students was born a female, but she knows in her heart that she is a male. She still chooses the pronouns of she and her because she is terrified to make the transition because of the discrimination she knows she will face in her family and in the world. She feels consistently depressed and lonely because she does not get to be herself and you cannot get into your learning brain when you don't feel like your needs matter. I am a Latina, I'm a first generation American, and my mother was actually initially an undocumented immigrant. Uh, she is now a US citizen. My father was a Cuban refugee, so he always had legal status. And this administration's treatment of the Latino community has really broken my heart. The way in which families have been separated at the border and their students at the border right now who should be in our classrooms. For example, Kentucky is a place that welcomes a lot of immigrants. They should be in our classrooms learning, learning and they are not. For me, if I'm breaking a quote unquote expectation, if it's for the greater good of my students so that especially my African-American males right now that are waiting for me to go back to Louisville, I want them to see when they're growing up, if they see an injustice that they cannot just sit by and idly let it pass by, that they have to step up. And as an out gender non-conforming human, uh, I have also faced a great deal of discrimination and prejudice in my life. For me personally, uh, the policies that are being supported and put in place against LGBTQ people uh, causes me to not feel comfortable in an environment. Uh, I'm not going to go into someone's home when they hate me for who I am based on things that, that it's just who makes me who I am. So I'm not going to go into someone's home if I know that he has actively made comments about hating who I am. And so I want to model for students that they get to choose. They get to choose if something makes them comfortable or not, if they feel safe or not, and to pay attention to that. And I just, I really think that's something important for them, and so I wanna be able to show them that I will also do that for myself.